Welcome to the world of multi-agent systems. Having one AI agent is already extremely powerful. For example, take my job as a professor. It has been shown that when JetGPT gives feedback to a student who writes an 800 word essay, that the student score actually improves more in a revision than when a professor gives it feedback. Also the positive emotion, the motivation and the engagement increases. So that is a, a bit of pill to swallow <laughs> for us professors, but we've seen that like, this improvement we've seen in many intellectual tasks. Now, the interesting thing is that if we use multiple agents, we can not only improve the performance, we can also eradicate many of the downsides. So here, for example, it has been shown that with different AI agents balancing each other, you could reduce the amount of overpraise or over inference. Think about it this way. Now you can have a good cop and a bad cop giving feedback. I often do that with my teaching assistants. I'm like, yeah, you're the good cop. Let me be the bad cop and be the harsh one. And then you can balance each other out and create a more comprehensive picture of what's going on. But when I'm here, well, why stop here? I could also add a fact checker that makes sure that everything in our review is 100% certain. Or I could add Professor Freud himself to make sure everything is communicated in a psychologically healthy manner or maybe um, a career advisor who helps the student already in his answer to forward looking. Now you might say, okay, hold on. Having five different experts to review a student essay, that's a little bit of an overkill. And well, yeah, it would be an overkill if I would employ five people, but, but I don't, it's still just me. I just have an kind of like a little army of five behind me, a team that helps me to bounce things around and balance things out. And this is extremely powerful. It is the reason why we create teams and companies and don't do everything by ourselves. We have a diversity of opinion and perspectives around us. Now it's extremely powerful if you get it right. And getting it right has to do with how to set up these multi-agent systems. And there are many ways. And, and the first approach to it is they are a network of different agents, of different actors. And there are many ways you can create networks. There, there are many ways how you can parallelize workflows. There are many ways how you can distribute and aggregate tasks. There are many ways how you can orchestrate and synthesize different aspects of what you're doing here. One of the main benefits is that you have a division of labors. You have a diversity of different agents. For example, you could have one that represents the annoyingly optimistic glass half full colleague that many of us have. And the other one is the eternal pessimistic glass half empty colleague. And they balance each other out. And that's a healthy dynamic Or, for example, one that creates is extremely creative, sometimes might even hallucinate, and one that's really down to earth, fact checking, bringing things in, uh, more like in predicting what is possible and what is not possible. And with that, you can also solve the really hard problems, like hallucination, for example, like robustness. Well, and if you cannot solve them, you can at least tackle them much better than you could with a single intelligence. During the five modules of this course, we will work our way up to creating multi-agent systems. We start with normal generative AI, your favorite foundational model, ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, and we will personalize them through a prompt engineering. Then we will give them tools and agentic workflows in order to autonomously interact with an ever-changing environment. And then we will consider how to create a complementarity, orchestrate a multi-agent systems that can help us to better tackle the really complex and difficult problems. And we will also have to talk about the complexity that's arising from having a team of autonomous agent at your service. <laughs> I am looking forward to going on to this exploration together with you.